What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at this guy again. So, um, yeah, featured on a previous video about, uh, what was it, two weeks ago? I took a look at this watch. Um, the W34 Apple Watch Series 4 clone. Um, yeah, it wasn't a fantastic experience. Terrible battery life and um, non-functioning heart rate sensor. Today, I think we should probably take this thing apart and see if that sensor is indeed fake. It is uh, stone dead right now, which is actually a good thing because we're going to be getting into this with a razor blade. So the bottom is attached quite firmly. I've had it apart once already just to have a gander inside of it and see what we're dealing with. Um, and I've clipped it back together. It is actually clipped together um, and not glued, so that's a positive. So let's go grab our um, slightly dangerous prying implement and take a look inside this thing. So after a uh, gentle prying with a sharp instrument here. The back is now free. Um, please do not use those for prying on things. For the love of God, that's dangerous. Don't do that. Um, yep, so now we can get into it and take a look at what's actually inside of this thing. So first thing we see is our little vibration motor stuck to the back case. This is actually plastic. I know it mentions on the back that it's like a ceramic or something. It is not. It's cheap, nasty plastic, and all the clips promptly broke off of it as I pried it open. So, um, yeah. The little vibration motor is just stuck on with a little bit of uh, double-sided tape. It comes straight off there. Um, and then we are greeted by our heart rate sensor. You see that? Not easily. Focus, camera. Come on. I know you want to. There's a fiver in it for you. Come on. No? Okay. Well, it's going to have to be good enough. Um, that's just a single crappy green LED on a bit of flat flex. That's it. There's no heart rate sensor. It's a lie. It's a scam. That aside, it's actually built quite well inside. I'm surprised. It's well put together. Um, but yeah, sensor's a scam. That's what I thought in the beginning, and this just confirms it. There is no actual sensing. And if we look at this back plate, it looks like there's a couple of, like, um, almost like electrodes or something, like things that would be electrically conductive on the back there to make contact with your skin. Well, they're not. And, in fact, there's just a little bit of a foam thing to act as a light guide and a little diffuser plate in there, and that's it. So this is just a bit of plastic that serves as a decorative purpose. Yeah, and I'm surprised at how large the battery actually is in relation to everything else. I was expecting just a tiny, tiny little useless battery. This was supposed to be a 300, I think, milliamp battery. I'm surprised we only get one, like, a half day out of this or less. I would think that would last a bit longer, so it may just be a really crap battery. Um, but doesn't really matter since the firmware and everything is so buggy anyway so yeah again wouldn't recommend buying one of these they are well they don't do what is advertised it is blatant false advertising and in a sense it is illegal and um these really shouldn't be being sold so i have i have mixed feelings about this the hardware is nice feeling it's nicely put together but there's the scammy nature to it, and the firmware sucks. So, yeah. There's potential. There's definitely potential for this hardware to be something decent. But it's just a blatant knockoff as it sits here. So, yeah, don't buy these. I, I really would not recommend buying one. Um, yeah, we'll be looking at some more smartwatches here in the near future. I've got a couple on order that should actually be fairly decent, or at least one of them I'm hoping is fairly decent. Um, so stay tuned for that, and until next time, guys, take it easy.